So I know we're going to show a photo of Dr. Edward J. Fuller here up on the screen for you. There he is. There's Dr. Fuller. And this is when it starts to get a, a little cray cray, as here the kids go. would say. He looks less crazy than some of the others. Right? This is true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is true. Yeah, because we know when we shared last week oh, when goodness. we had the professor talking about the write this uh, whole essay about the Taliban. Like, why, why basically right. they're justified. <laughs> he looked crazy. Dr. Foley doesn't look crazy, but you know he's crazy by his Twitter account. Mm. So this is what he's put on his personal Twitter account that has now become private. <laughs> he called for drunk drivers, get this, to run over unvaccinated parents. <laughs> Wow. The, the he belief? put this on his Twitter, and this is a tweet right here. Why so is, is his account still up? <laughs> I know, his, right? His account is now private. This is what he said here. Why is it a parent's right to endanger the lives of other kids and of teachers? Maybe people wearing masks should just drive drunk and speed through the neighborhoods of pro-COVID parents as a way to exercise, I guess, their wow. freedom and rights. Uh, you see, this is what's this is what's interesting is you see Twitter. You guys remember the famous podcast with Joe Rogan and Tim Pool, and they yep. were going back and forth yeah. with mm -hmm. Twitter mm -hmm. and Jack Dorsey. Mm -hmm. They say the same thing always, over and over again. The reason why we suppress certain speech is because we want to keep people protected in the real world. Mm -hmm. Someone could say something on the platform, and it turns into real world violence, and then yep. we're responsible, mm -hmm. right? But only if it's like a right winger. Oh, of course, <laughs> you see stuff like this. You see stuff like this, yeah. and that's that's actually credible. Yes. Because yeah. there are seriously mentally people, Ill, uh, mentally ill people out there mm -hmm. oh, that yeah. read stuff like oh, this. Yeah. You get extremists like Antifa or BLM. Mm -hmm. They see stuff like this, and they're like, "Well, if he's allowed to say it on Twitter, and he's a educator, mm -hmm. maybe it's a good idea, and I maybe can get away with it." But it. Twitter keeps it up. Yeah. Like I could honestly say, like this is a disgusting thing to think about. But yeah. he could be like the Waukesha massacre. He could be like, no, that right. maybe that's okay if he ended up running over unvaccinated people. Mm -hmm. You could right. see someone like that saying that. Right. Mm -hmm. This is Charlie Kirk, founder and CEO of Turning Point USA. If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Turning Point USA.